Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll tell you about adding opacity map to the AutoCAD drawings. Opacity maps are added in the renderings to make the drawings more realistic. Using this feature, you can add images, you can add materials such as trees, cars, or even people in your drawing. These opacity maps are generally 2D drawings, but they are made to look like a 3D object. So I'll use this tree for this tutorial and for using this tool you need to have these two kind of images the one is a normal image of your object which you want to use and the other is its opacity map and that is generally a black and white image in which the black part is the one which is not retained which is to be removed you can download these two images along with the rendering drawing which we are going to use in this video from the link in the description box so let's start this drawing. So here we have this drawing. Now in this drawing we have a wall here, a base and also an object here. In both of these objects, in this wall and in base, the materials are applied. But in this case, no material has been applied to this geometry. Now we'll create a new tree material and we'll add it to this object. And later on we'll render it to see how it looks. So for adding the material, go to Visualize tab and from this Materials panel, click on this Material Browser. Now this Material Browser palette will pop up. Let's first expand it to see it more clearly. And from here you'll see this New Material button. Click on this New Material button and select this New Generic Material. Now this Material Editor palette will pop up. In this palette, you'll see here this generic panel. From this panel, click on the image. Now, this will open file browser. From here, select the tree. So, I've got that tree on the desktop. So, I selected it. Now, click on open. Now, the tree is added here. Now, next go to this cutouts and click on it to turn it on. And again, this file window will pop up. Click on tree with opacity map and the opacity map tree has been added. Now once again, double click on this image, texture editor will pop up. From here, we need to make some changes. At first, make sure that the sample size is set to 12 by 12 and in repeat, make sure that none is selected in both the cases. So in horizontal as well as in vertical, none should be selected. Once your selection is complete, close this palette. Repeat the process for this cutouts as well. So double click on it. And here also make sure the sample size is 12 and then scroll it downwards. And from this repeat select none for horizontal and as well as for vertical. Once the selection is complete, close this texture editor and also close all the open palettes except the material browser. Now we have added the default material here. So in order to make it more clear, you can rename it as well. So let's right click, select edit and now let's name it. So I'll name it as sample tree. And now let's close it. So here we have the sample tree. Now let's move this palette and drag and drop this material over here. And the material is now added to the drawing and you'll see its effect directly. But if you're not able to see the effect, then make sure that you change. Let's close it. The visual style to realistic. For changing the visual style, you can click here and change it to realistic or you can directly click on this button on the visual style and select realistic face style. Also from this drop down, select realistic. Now the realistic visual style is added. Now we'll make a rendering from this drawing. So for creating the rendering, go to this render panel and click on this render to size. And this will create the rendering of our current drawing. So here we have it. Now it's looking as if the tree is present here and it's a 3D object. Although we have only added an opacity map and an image here. You can render it from another view as well. So let's click it, close it and now zoom this area in order to make another rendering and now click on this render to size. And once again, we have the rendering here. Now let's zoom in a little bit and you can see it now more clearly. So in this way, you can add more opacity map and objects like cars 
or people to the drawing. So this was all about using opacity map in the drawing. So if you have any questions related to this opacity map, then let me know in the comments and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.